very good morning myself very proper see here in our daily life in our surroundings so many measurements are there without measurements we can't able to survive so today we are going to discuss about units and their dimensions so how we are measuring our surroundings how we have to survive without them without measurements we can't able to survive so that we must know about that how we can measure what are the dimensions that all we discuss it today in this chapter so today we are going to discuss about units and dimensions in this chapter we are going to discuss about introduction quantity physical quantity unit and the essa unit of physical quantity and dimensions so these are the topics we are going to discuss in this chapter let me discuss one by one first we have to discuss about quantity quantity if for example if you go to the banana merchant and if you go to the banana merchant and uh, we didn't ask the can you give two liters of bananas because that uh, quantity is different uh. so when you go for the banana merchant we ask that give me two dozens of bananas and when you go to the banana merchant he asked that how much are how many he asked that how much bananas are how many bananas you want so that specifies the quantity quantity specifies that how much so quantity specifies that how much are how many so if you go to the petrol pump then also we ask when you go there he asked that how much you want so we asked that it for 2 liters or 200 rupees sir yes sir no similarly quantity specifies that quantity explains that how much or how many next let me go for physical quantity what is the physical quantity for example if you take the chalk piece we can able to measure or not if you take a duster is it able to measurable or not if you take one broom is it able to measurable or not it means uh, which can able to measure which can able to measure that we call as a physical quantity physical quantity is nothing but which can able to be measured or the measurable quantities we can call it as a physical quantities again these physical quantities are divided into three types in the first one is fundamental physical quantity so again this physical quantity are divided into three types one is fundamental physical quantity derived physical quantity supplementary physical quantity now let me discuss one by one
according to the if you see an according to the newton second law according to newton second law force equal to mass into acceleration it means the force is to be derived from mass and acceleration in these two if any one is not there it is not fulfilled it means if mass is not there we can't say it is a form of force it means presence of both mass and acceleration multiplication of mass and acceleration then only we can say it is a force so according to newton second law force is the mass and acceleration so force is derived from mass and acceleration so what you can say derived physical quantity a quantity which is derived from which is derived from fundamental physical quantity which is derived from fundamental physical quantity is called derived physical quantity last but not least supplementary physical quantity Supplementary quantity. The quantity which depends upon the supplementary quant supplementary. 